Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Trimco Juno pole handle. This is a pole out of their Mastercraft catalog, uh, poles that we don't sell very often because um, I think much of the stylings of the material, honestly, you would see, uh, it reminds me of design and decor from the 1970s. However, there are callbacks to that era of design, and they indeed had the casting available when I needed to order this pole. And um, here it is. This is literally going to be a video review of removing it from the packaging. I've not seen it yet. I don't know what it's going to look like. This pole is in... <laughs> it's an old... It's a... It's a it's a vent it's a it's a um, design that will be reminiscent of the 1970s but it will be in a finish that you see a lot today a powder coated version of oil rubbed bronze which we're calling 613e 613 is oil rub bronze on a bronze base material that's what that 613 means when you add the e to the end of it the uh, industry proper definition becomes equivalent you're going to order a 613E when you literally do not want the facet of your finish, the hallmark, a feature, uh, an understandable behavior of the finish to age with time. They call 613 a living finish. That's because it literally is going to change with time. You will apply new oil rub bronze hardware on your doors. Well, after so many months or years, the areas that's very much touched by the hand, well, that dark oil rubbed has come off, revealing the bronze tones underneath. Some people want exactly that to happen. Other people are aghast as to why that happens. So what we look to do is to make clear what is a 613, what is a 613E finish. And this client specifically wanted these there are two uh, Juno poles going on the front door, a pair of 3080 full glass style and rail wood doors, main entrance of a country club. This client literally wanted that look, but the rest of the project we've supplied is in the equivalent finish because the client said, you know, I really don't want that rubbing off over time. Well, we could do the powder coated version of oil rub bronze, the equivalent, and send a sample and sure enough, that's exactly what we want. Powder coating is an incredibly durable type finish that while it's not impervious to failure or fatigue is incredibly durable and you can research online the hallmarks of powder coating. Is it going to look like oil rub bronze? To me, no, it won't. And in fact, I've had suppliers, when I've ordered 613, send me out a powder coated version. That's appalling. That's wrong, especially trim and auxiliary people who know better. Um, if I ask for 613, I mean oil rubbed. I want the living finish. And if I ask for equivalent, it's because we know under, we, we understand exactly what we want the behavior of the finish to be through the life expectancy of the door, of the hardware. So let's literally cut this out. And I'm just going to get my utility blade here and carefully cut down the seam. I'm going to do it on my desktop. I won't reveal it until I pick it back up. I just don't want to cut further than the paper. And this is very typical of how Trimco ships. They will package the item. Uh, they will um, then literally roll it up in paper. They'll, they'll use a cushioning material, then literally roll it up. First time I've ever, not only first time I've ever seen oil rubbed from, uh, oil rubbed equivalent from Trimco, the first time I've ever seen their Juno pole. And we'll get to the other poles that are available from them as well. We've got some more packaging to get through, so I'm going to put it back down here and just carefully get through. It's all you want when you're cutting through something. It's all you want, just a little point of it sticking out. Just going to break that tape seam that's there. Weighs 7.3 pounds, one single pole does, and this hardware is ordered 
uh, as a through bolt. Uh, and what this client actually did was, uh, we're going to have push plates on the inside, custom made push plates and a complementary finish, that oil rubbed equivalent. Um, this client was going from 18 inch centers to, um, or maybe it was 16 inch centers, I forget, but the centers are slightly off between this pole and the existing. The client didn't want to have to dowel those holes and refinish. So what we did was, from Trimco literally ordered a couple of custom push plates that will be the backer plate under the Juno. So back to the Juno. And I bet this will be wrapped in plastic after this styrofoam. There we go. Oh yeah, that'll work. That dog will hunt. Let's see that Juno pole. It's nice because the way that the light reflects off of this does give you the impression that it will give you, I'm going to get it pulled out, it's powder coated so it's going to be a real durable finish, which is what you want, because what are people going to walk up to it with in their hands? Rings on their fingers, keys in their hands. Here we go. That's their 613 oil rubbed. So as I'm looking at it here, it goes from being dark to a bit lighter based on how the light is reflecting off of the unit. And it even looks significantly lighter in that regard. And I've got mostly, uh, I've got LEDs ahead of me, overhead. Uh, but that's what the Juno looks like. Being solid architectural bronze, you'd be able to do this in any architectural finish. Your brasses, your bronze, your chromes, oil rubbed. Being Trimco, they could um, produce almost any finish, I would think. Uh, certainly they can powder coat. They can powder coat in black. It's a real common finish these days. Um, but I wouldn't mind seeing this in a polished bronze or a satin bronze or a true oil rubbed. I'm a fan of the living finish of oil rubbed. I think it's a great choice because the client wanted the durability of the powder coat finish. And I think they're going to really have that with this all together. And being Trimco, I am pleased with the fit and finish. Meaning, the finish of the material, the, pro, the procedure of finish on the material is good. It's very good. You've got an even coverage on your powder coating. So whomever did this, and I don't believe they do it in-house. They might. I believe they send it out, but obviously sending it out to somebody who does powder coating all the time. And what you really see here, and again, this is what the client wants, are the inherent imperfections in the casting process. So you can see how the casting here is, it, it appears to be handmade. And you know why it looks that way? Because it is. You know, this casting has been done. The casting itself obviously has minor imperfections, giving it the character that the client wanted. And even if the client didn't want that, those little peen marks are so insignificant that, you know, it'd be difficult to pick them up. You can't, you certainly can't see them at 14 inch from the camera. You gotta bring it awfully close before you start to see it, okay? Really nice, nice handle. I personally would have gone for a, an architectural finish, not powder coated, but again, if you want a finish that's gonna look, that, have, that will have the best opportunity to last, you're gonna compromise that architectural sort of look. Meaning, if you wanted polished brass, you can have that. But what are you gonna have? You're gonna have a plating. Well, you're gonna have a polish over solid brass, but the problem that you're gonna have is that you're gonna have a lacquer over that. So sooner or later, the lacquer is going to fatigue and fail. Then that polish is going to start to wear down, and it's not going to be polished anymore. Um, oil rubbed bronze, we've covered that in length, what that's going to look like over time. But me personally, I think this would look utterly gorgeous in a true oil rubbed bronze, where this will likely all stay very dark, but that center area where you're grabbing it, that's going to wear ever so nicely. Um, 
This is, as I said earlier, a through bolted version. This is going to literally have three eighths bolts go through the door. This was specified as an inch and three quarter thick door, countersunk washers. So this client on the push plates on the inside are going to drill holes through the push plates and then apply that countersunk washer right over the push plate. If you didn't want to do that, you will very commonly see a customer literally drill and countersink the face of the door and then run it through the door. I would not want that long term on wood at all, and it's not meant to be that way. But if you ever see a single pull handle that you have no idea how they've mounted it, they've probably just put the push plate right over it. Will the client possibly end up doing that? Yeah, they might. Um, but it's meant to go through the push plate, so the push plate will have two holes in it for the bolts that are going to get mounted right into the drill and tapped holes right behind. Okay, really gorgeous. Now, dimensional properties. Overall length, they've got this at 16 by inch and three quarter. Yeah, I knew that was wrong, meaning there's other documentation that tells us that it's not 16. That center to center is 16. That's the thing. So the overall, yeah, they've got that incorrect. By the time you're seeing this video, we'll have that corrected. The center to center is 16. The overall length is 18 and a half. This kind of pull handle is something that's going to last the life of the building. 18 and a half overall. You're going to have a width on the bar at an inch and seven eighths. A couple of dimensions here now, three of them actually. Overall projection is going to put us at about an inch and three quarter, inch and seven eighths maybe. You're going to have a clearance of about an inch and five sixteenths, then thickness of that material is the balance at about a half of an inch. Okay. The size of these bases on the on the footprint inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. Okay. Now there is a link below this video to the Mastercraft bronze catalog. Take a look at that if you would. You'd be able to open that document. And as you scroll through you will find the Juno, which is on page uh, three of that catalog. They do give that OA of 16 by inch and three quarter. That's just not accurate. The other poles that you're going to see listed there, um, you can see what I'm saying, 1970s, 1960s, uh, sort of look that you're going to have on those doors, maybe even mid-century. Um, but really gorgeous pull handles that Trimco is going to be able to provide for you. Uh, mounting methods are there. It's very possible, and we have them listed in the site that you're going to want to back-to-back -back mount these. Um, that mounting method link is there for your review. The only one I can think of that you're going to use is, well, it's the E, G, or the N, but I really think you're going to be E or N or, or G, single, bol uh, single pole, through bolted, a pair of them back-to-back. Or the end mount, which would be for a glass door. So you could certainly do that. Um, they don't have a listing for back to back end mount. Um, I would think it would be the same as a G with some rubber washers and then a um, shorter bolt would be the bottom line, assuming that they can drill and tap into this. Okay. Being handmade hardware, uh, exactly what you might want may be limited. Uh, as a result of the manufacturing process. They may not be able to back-to-back -back mount those uh, for glass doors for whatever reason. Um, they can do it for regular. I'm sure they can do it for glass. There's a document there called Policy Regarding Finishes. It's just a document as it pertains to Trimco overall. A link to the product maintenance. Again, a generic document uh, that Trimco publishes. Then the handing chart. Uh, that's nice to know uh, in terms of what hand of door you're ordering. Um, obviously, this pole you can put any way you really like.
but that's not necessarily for all pulls. So we have the handing is there as well because I do like to know the hand of items uh, because sometimes something is done to the pole handle that makes it a handed item and even though you can mount it either way you like it might be better to know the hand and that would be the uh, reason for that the extended description calls it out as a Juno master craft door pole uh, they've got that center to center of 13 and 5 8 that's indeed not the case this center to center oh it is uh, forgive me this is indeed the case 13 and 5 8 center to center 18 and a half overall um, you've got a reference to your finish you've got a reference to your mount type they say that it's ADA compliant I would say that there's no way that this is ADA compliant because it doesn't give you um, the clearance I understand that that barrier free uh, uh, clearance needs to be inch and a half this is well short of that okay this will have an exceptional lead time I think this took every bit of seven weeks uh, not only because it's a very low volume scenario uh, they did have to obviously send it out for powder coating um, I would think if it wasn't powder coated you'd have a more uh, predictable lead time even though I would allow if it's a plated well um, if it's a plated finish or if it is a polished or satin finish or an oil rub finish I would still allow four weeks and that's because Trimco is a manufacturer. They are not uh, a company that necessarily, that while they do have items that are in a short lead time, they manufacture to order. They are a high-end manufacturer of trim and auxiliary hardware. And I don't believe it's their goal to try to fully accommodate the last-minute environment because, in my opinion, they don't compete on price, meaning their material is not intended to be the least expensive. But I would argue that they do aim for their material to be of the highest caliber. So you've got these two different um, situations that you can see a pull like this requested in. If you're doing a job and it's, you know, I got to have it in seven days and it's a Juno pull in polished bronze, Trimco would not be able to do that because that's not their, their sort of base material. But I would argue as well that their material is always well worth the wait. So if you have a project where you're looking for this material, simply plan ahead because it's certainly well worth the wait. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Trimco products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Trimco, this is their Juno pull, and we do have it listed as a single pull in all the different finishes and then as pairs of them in all the different finishes or any other Trimco product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.